Hey, in this video, we'll be installing the Enduro Engineering Rear Disc Guard, the one that's uh, full machined aluminum. Hey, if you like this kind of content around product reviews and installation videos, go ahead and click that subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell to be notified of new content. Let's get started. Hey YouTube, this is Robert from Sherbert Outdoors. Hey, today we're going to be installing an Enduro Engineering rear disc protector. Uh, so most, most dirt bikes actually don't come with any type of disc protection. I didn't have any on my front um, disc when I first bought this WR450 last year. I did put an Enduro Engineering uh, one on it, and I was amazed at the amount of abuse that thing gets. I, I did put some uh, electrical tape on it one day, and it was just nicked to pieces and back. Which, allowed, which caused me to think that I needed to upgrade my back protection as well. From the factory, it does come with, you can see it right here, a little bit of protection. It's a little flimsy though. Uh, you can kind of move it around back and forth. It's pretty good and it has been beaten up. I mean, if you look at it closely, it's all gouged up and everything. So with that said, I love these Enduro engineering products. It actually comes in two pieces. It's already put together for you, but if you do break the bottom, um, you can actually just buy the piece and replace it. It's all one piece and your, uh, your rear axle goes through it. Um, so we're going to Moab next year and I wanted to make sure that uh, my bike was fully ready to go so then we're out in the middle of nowhere we don't have any issues with ripping rotors off or anything else uh, because of the amount of rocks and stuff that are out there. So with that said, uh, this is a pretty easy task. Um, it looks a little daunting when you think you have to deal with brake calibers because this actually does have a slide mechanism here and it actually comes off of uh, the rear swing arm. So with that, let's go ahead and get started and uh, we'll do a full breakdown and full removal and, and then put this, take all the parts off and put all the parts on. All right, so there's a couple different ways you can start. You can just start taking the discs apart or you can just take the wheel off. I like to go ahead and get the wheel off and, uh, and start that process. So this is pretty simple. This is a 27 millimeter socket. here pretty simple you got your outer guard you got your other this thing actually works on a slide system so when you when you do move the uh, the bike forward and backwards when you're adjusting the chain the brake actually moves with it so it's always in the same position so with that said let's go ahead and start taking these pieces apart this thing we're going to do is actually take off the the caliper protection and that actually is this actually is important this actually holds kind of everything together a little bit on the outsides this is an eight millimeter bolt which a lot which most of the bolts on this bike actually are so we'll get it off and this is a by the way this is when I first started looking at this I was a little concerned that this was going to be a heavy lift as far as uh, taking this apart and putting it together and I'll piece let me move this over here so you can see a little bit better. So this comes off pretty, pretty simple. Nothing really complicated. Um, we'll just put this down here as well and we'll take this other bolt and put it down there as well. And so now we've got our slides off. The next thing we need to do is actually come here. We're going to take out this outer bushing and inside of it is a hex bolt. And this will allow us to take off our slide here holding our, our brake disc pads in. So let's go ahead and start that process. And for that, we need a screwdriver, which I have right here. Okay, so this has an outer cover on it. We'll kind of get inside of here, and we'll just kind of unscrew it. So it has an outer cover that's gonna cover the hex bolt. Now this, and it, it's not very big. You can see here it's very short. Let's put it down in here. And then this is a five millimeter. So you're gonna pop it in here and you're just gonna turn it. And um, you, don't have to, you don't have to crank it down too hard. But this is actually what holds the disc guards in place. Or not sorry, it holds the, uh, the brake pads in place. So if you ever need to replace brake pads, it's actually a fairly easy task as well. So we'll go ahead and get this 
rolled out. And it's just this, just a kind of a time consuming activity, nothing big. Just kind of get it. And once it comes out, your brake pads actually literally will, you saw one just fell out. The other one's <clears throat> sitting right here. Gives you a chance to actually inspect them as well. They just slip right out. You know, these are in really good shape. I've got a lot of, a lot of, a uh, lot left actually. I'm using the back, back brake pads. Anyway, so we'll put those down there. And so now we can move our disc. Um, we can move it on the slide. We can pull it forward or we can push it back. And this is how it kind of sits. It's not, it's not really complicated how this whole thing works. It's just, um, just a couple different pieces, how it all fits together. And so it actually will just slide off like that. And you've got two slides. You've got this slide here, and then you've got another slide here that when this isn't all bolted together, this is how it comes together. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the uh, workbench. We're gonna replace this piece, this piece, and this piece into our new, um, new guard here. All right, guys, we really got a couple things here to take off. We got the piece that in the middle here that actually holds in our um, brake pads, and that just pops right out. We'll put it over here. We've got our rubber bushing here, which pops right out. This is actually what is for the slide um, for the, uh, the caliper piece. And then we have this piece here, which you're supposed to take out. I am not sure if someone Loctited this. So I actually uh, already taken this apart previously, and I was going to do a video, and I, I could not get it to come out. So I ended up having to order another one, which I've already installed into our new disc guard here uh, with some Loctite on it. Actually, I used the blue stuff so that you could get it off, but this was so cranked in there, I couldn't get it off at all. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to put in our disc guard, our, our brake pad holder here, the clips that go inside of there. And the other thing is we're going to just pop this little bushing right in here. Uh, and this will hold our other slide. Um, pretty easy stuff. Now the other thing that I do typically, um, anytime we have any type of slide mechanism, is I take a little bit of lightning grease and I do move it around a little white lightning grease and put it on here. I do this with the axle too. Um, and then put it inside of here. So you do have your slide moving back in here so there is some friction. And uh, just get it nice and easy as we go. All right, so that is that is actually the three pieces. And so we're going to go back to the bike, and we'll start putting these different pieces together. Again, this is a quick video. It's not really long. This is not that long a process, but it's very important. And if we take a look here at this guard, you can see here we've got these Allen wrench uh, screws holding the two pieces together. So these are machined aluminum and they are very precise. But if you do break this off, and this thing is very stiff and very rigid, uh, you can actually just replace the bottom part. And here's the slide that's going to go in into uh, holding our piece together in the back. So let's go ahead and put a, let's go ahead and back to the back of the bike and, and start back there. Okay, so now we're just going to put the pieces back together. And we've got these two slides. We've got the one here and the one here. These really do just kind of slide together. Um, let's go in the holes, and that's kind of what holds everything together. We'll just kind of come back here and feed this in. And so now our slide and our brake mechanism is back together. And so uh, at this next thing is, we'll go ahead and put in our brake pads um, and get them back in. They really only go in one way, so you really can't screw this up. They have to go in a particular way. So we'll put our first one in, go ahead and get them where they need to be, and get our slide ready to go as well. You can use a screw, you can use a screwdriver in here to actually spread these apart if you need to, um, once you get everything in. So we'll get our, our screw in, go ahead and spread these apart a little bit. A nice. Nice and fit well together. Get all this compressed together. There we go. All right, take our five millimeter. Let's kind of feed this in. This, these are nice. It actually just gets in there really fast. So we'll get our brake pads nice and secure in here.
Okay, now that that's in, let's kind of make that a little bit snug. All right, the next thing here is to put the screw back in. Go ahead and get this guy ready to go. So we're doing everything that we did previously, just kind of in reverse. And so that's in there now. Go ahead and kind of crank him down a little bit. All right, next piece, put our guard back on. And I mean, this, this really can go on my own one way as well. And so you got two bolts, a short one and a long one. They really only can go in one way as well. So take this guy, put him in, get him started up. And we'll get the other one started up as well. Take our eight millimeter. And crank that down. Crank that down as well. All right. I'm gonna spread these brake pads apart just a little bit. So the caliper compresses. Hey, when you go and do that, you are going to need, you are gonna to need to spread those apart a little bit um, when you put your stuff in. So uh, you'll need to uh, uh, kind of bleed the brakes a little bit by saying. But hey, that is actually putting the uh, putting our our brake uh, protection system on. Let's go ahead and install the uh, the tire. All right, YouTube. I went ahead and put the tire back on, so we'd have to go through that whole process. A um, couple things. One thing I like to do when tightening up the tire is I do put a rag right there pull the wheel back this does put some tension on everything and once the tension's in place like it is it makes it a lot easier to take this and crank it down get everything nice and tight in there get it nice and snug and when you think you got it where you want to be just pull it out and you got it. this has actually got our three fingers and so we are good to go here on our brake system got this in here this thing is great look at that how well that looks we got lots of protection down here and this kind of wraps out a little bit around and it fits in really well and it is it is incredibly stiff the last thing we need to do is because we did pry it apart is we just kind of come in here and bleed the brakes a little bit so kind of tighten everything up all right and it pushes the uh, fluid through the and now we see here our brake pads are nice and snug against that rear rotor and that is installing the enduro engineering rear disc guard hey if you like this kind of content go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell to be notified of new content hey i appreciate everybody's time and have a great day thank you